Hi, Jimmy. Um, so, if I could take you back a few hours to this morning, can you just let us know what the what the situation was at the team hotel there, and and whether you guys were were worried that we might be heading into danger territory with this coronavirus? Yeah, so we actually got on the bus to come to the ground at the, at the usual time, and then got told to get off the bus because we found out about a couple of positive uh, lateral flows. So then all the lads went in and had lateral flows to make sure we were all okay and then waited for the, the all clear to come into the ground, which was about um, half nine, quarter to ten. And, and sitting as you are now, do you feel confident? Because obviously we know that a couple of tours have, have fallen by the wayside. Do you feel confident this one's going to reach its conclusion? Uh, it's very hard for me to answer that, Rory, to be honest. We're all, all having PCR tests now um, and obviously we'll, we'll need all those to be clear, really, um, if, if possible. So we'll just have to wait and see what the results are from then. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, back to the back to the sort of cricket. Um, how gutted are you, really, that you guys fought really hard, put in, I guess, what's probably your best innings of the of the series so far uh, and, and really clawed your way back into the game and then to see the top order blown away in the last hour? Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, I thought we, well, firstly on the on the bowling front, I thought we did really well to to stick at our task throughout the day. We, um, yeah, we we sort of, you know, we talked a lot about the lengths we want to hit and the, the pressure we want to create. And I thought we were really good at that throughout the day. Great, a lot of chances, um, put a lot of balls in the right areas. Um, and then got our rewards for it. And I thought, you know, we were pretty pleased with, with I think, 260. Um, again, if we're, if we're being honest in the first innings, we should have got somewhere near that, if not more. Um, if, you know, or it certainly felt possible on that wicket. Um, and we knew it's a, it's a new ball wicket as well, that it felt like it did less as the, as the ball got older uh, and the day went on, as more sun got on the pitch, it felt like it did a lot less. Um, so we knew that that last 12 overs was going to be tough with the, with the new ball. Um, but even even so, to, to lose four wickets was really disappointing. Um, you know, I thought the, the spell from Stark and Cummins was was outstanding, but that's what you expect. They're, they're world-class bowlers. They've done it in test cricket for, for many, many years. So um, it shouldn't take anyone by surprise that they bowl like that. Um, and I, I just, yeah, disappointing to lose four wickets in that period. Thanks. Happy to pass on if someone's waiting, Danny. Yeah, thanks, Rory. Let's go with uh, Malcolm Com, please. Hi, Jimmy. Um, well, Bold, it was just uh, interested in your views on it. Always, or it seems regularly the bowlers sort of tend to cop it um, in terms of performances. But uh, here, it seems the bowling is uh, the least of England's problems. It seems the batting's been pretty flaky as a bowler. Um, how have you found that over your career and on this series? Um. To be honest, I think it's it's dangerous to go into uh, start start you know talking about as a, certainly as a bowler talking about our batting and stuff like that. We're we're a team here. We're, we're all work we're working really hard to try and put in some you know much better performances. We're trying to improve as a group. Um, you know we know we haven't bowled great in the first two games. We know we could have bowled better, um, and we've we've gone away and worked hard. And, and this week, I think we've or certainly. Today we put in a, a much better performance, um, and I, you know, all I can see from from the batting group is is how hard they're working to try and put things right. And you know, it can be very difficult, certainly um, in sort of foreign conditions against a, a class bowling attack. It can be difficult. So um, I don't want to get into too much of a, a bowlers versus batter sort of thing. It's we're a team here, and we're all working hard to try and get better. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Malcolm. Let's go to Chris Stocks, please. Hi, Jimmy. Um, Shane Warne today said that he thought that was the best he's seen you bowl in, in Australia. I mean, how did it feel coming out today? And do you agree with him? Um, yeah, I think it would be it'd be up there. I, I mean, I, uh, probably since 2010, it's definitely the best I've bowled um, out here. Um, you know, I just I felt in good rhythm. Didn't feel great last uh, yesterday, actually, strangely. But then changed ends today and felt much better. Got into a really good rhythm. Felt like I was challenging every ball. There was a spell. Um, can't remember when it was. Maybe 
late first session, I felt like um, I was going to get a wicket every ball. I honestly felt in that good, not good a rhythm. Um, so it's just nice to, yeah, nice to try and get some wickets when you're in that sort of rhythm because it doesn't happen all the time. Um, and to, to bowl them out as well for, for a, I thought what was a reasonable score on that pitch was, was pleasing as well. Just on the, um, the COVID scare this morning, you're obviously at the mercy of PCR results you're having um, tonight. I mean, is there a will within the, the camp to, to continue if possible? Well, I'm sure that's the plan, yeah. Um, again, it, it's going to depend on the PCR tests and what situation that leaves us in. You know, as long as the group that's in, in at the ground today a negative. I don't see why we can't carry on. Okay, let's go, John Etheridge, Simon Wild, and we'll finish with Dean Wilson. Go ahead, John. Yeah, Jim, I was going to ask you about the sort of potential ramifications if any of the PCR tests come back positive. Have you been told what, what might happen if that's the case? No, we've not been told anything. I think, you know, that's that'll get talked about by much more important people than me when, if and when the, those results come back. The, the 11 guys on the field feel fine, no, no, no illness or symptoms there at all? Yeah, as far as I'm aware, the whole playing group feel fine uh, and the management that are in the ground today, everyone, everyone feels fine. We've just been, we've stepped up that, uh, the sort of safety protocols around the dressing room, wearing masks and keeping distance where possible as well to make sure that we, you know, if, if, there is any infection around the group, we, it's not spread. Thank you. Simon, please. Hi, Jimmy. Um, just going back to the Brisbane test, how near were you to being fit for that game or, or not? And if, if you weren't, how long did it take you to get up to match fitness? Um, well, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I felt I was fit for that game. Um, but it was, you know, the decision was made that that I was I missed the game, so there's nothing I could, uh, you know, there's no point talking about that now. Uh, I did feel a little bit rusty at um, Adelaide. Didn't feel in, in great rhythm throughout the game. Um, that, that's always the case. It's difficult as a bowler to try and you know hit the ground running all the time. It, it, no matter how experienced you are, it, it sometimes does take a game or two to get to get that rhythm that you need um, or to feel like you're bowling well. So um, I'm just happy that I've, I felt a lot better this game and managed to get some wickets. Okay. But you, you feel you were fit for the first test. You could have played it. But who knows if I could have played because I wasn't picked, but I felt fit, yes. Okay, all right, thank you. And Dean, last one, please. Jimmy, what did you think of Mark Wood's performance? He seemed to unsettle every batsman that he bowled at. That high pace seems to scramble a bit of footwork. Yeah, again, I think every time he gets uh, the, the call, he, he performs really well. Um, you know, he, he bowls at high pace for, for long periods of time. His pace doesn't seem to drop that much throughout an innings, which is, again, impressive. Uh, and I thought today actually he could have got a couple more wickets. He had a few gloves that sort of landed safe and um, beat the bat a few times as well. Um, so, you know, hopefully he can kick on from here and, uh, you know, forget the chance in the second innings. He can, if he get, has a bit more luck, I'm sure he'll be in the wickets. Are you enjoying this? This press conference? Well, I know I know you're enjoying the press conference, but are you enjoying the tour? Um, look, it's a, it's a, it's a it's been a tough tour uh, so far, but it always is here. It's never it's never simple or plain sailing. There's always stuff going on. Um, you know, I'm I, I'm I've got the opportunity to put an England shirt on, so I'm enjoying that. Absolutely love doing that every time we get the opportunity. Um, and obviously, we want the we'd love the results to be going better, um, and the performances to be better. But that's something that you know it can happen. We'll just keep working hard at that, um, and hopefully, it will get better at some stage. We'll uh, we'll do one more. Dan Coppel, go ahead. Thanks, Danny. Um, uh, Jimmy, 
Uh, Ollie Robinson pulled up a bit sore, went off, and then came back and just bowled one more. Is there any word on how he's going? Yeah, he he had a, he landed on his uh, sort of I don't know if his backside or hamstring or something. He felt he felt something when he we tried to say that catch. I think it was uh, Stark who hit one back at him. Um, so he just went off, got it checked, and it was it was fine. He came back and he, he was fine when he, he bowled again. So I uh, don't think it's anything too serious. Thanks, Danny. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. Cheers. Cheers, guys. See you later.